حلوة Hello Welcome all to my channel Myself Arjuna Bandare Today we are going to just see our next playlist related with the subject database management system so before starting the actual technical part we have to know some kind of an a basic information related with this subject so firstly we are going to just see some of the basic definition firstly let's see what do you mean by the data so many of us are very much familiar with the term called as a metadata. It is a very very common word that we are going to use in our day to day life. For example, the price of an a book, the number of students in a class, or a name of an a city, pin code of an a city, name of an a person. This all one is nothing but called as the data. So what is this actually data means? What is the technical meaning of this data? data is nothing but known facts and the figures that have implicit meaning so it can also be defined as it is the representation of facts or the concepts or the instructions in a formal manner which is suitable for understanding and processing here i have just mentioned the different kinds of an in uh, definitions related with an data but in short the data is nothing but an information which can be translated into a form that is more convenient to process or move. So from that we can be do our work very easily which is helpful to do any kind of the work, any kind of an action that all one is nothing but called as the data the facts and the figures that can be recorded in a system that means your computer system and that have some special meaning assigned to it is nothing but called as the data so we can say that data is the collection of an facts which is an in the unorganized format but we can made it into organized format and convert it into the useful information so this is the some kind of an statistics which are stored or which may be freely move from one place to the another place and it is in a general it is generally in a raw format and unprocessed format what to whom you can be called as an data or how you can represent the data to represent the data you can be use any alphabets digit alphanumerical format or you can be used or represent this data with the help of an special characteristics also so all this one that is the data is the one kind of an facts or figures from which we will be get some kind of the meaning and that may be in the earlier stage it may be in a unprocessed or the raw format or in the unorganized format and from that we have to get some kind of the information so next point that i'm going to be uh, just discuss over here is nothing but the information data that have been processed in such a way as to increase the knowledge of a person who is uses it is nothing but called as information the information is processed data on which the decision and actions are based so previously i have told you that the data it is in a raw format so when you when this raw material is processed then that data is now called as the information it is available in a organized and the classified data to provide some kind of an a meaningful values the information is the data that can be processed in such a way that it can increase the knowledge of the person who uses it as the need of any data increased there was a need to develop a computer based system for storing and managing the data as a file system or the information system carried so 
this one is related with the information so the uh, one kind of a uh, process that, uh, which will uh, process uh, which converts the facts into a meaningful information is nothing but called as the data processing now we know that firstly we have data as a raw material we process it and that data is converted into the information now how you are using this information this use of this information may be required in a future at any time maybe in another format so for that purpose we have to make some kind of an a collection of this information and this collection is nothing but called as the database so database is the collection of the related data it is organized in such a way that it can be easily retrieved and managed so database is the collection of the meaningful information over which you can be uh, insert the data you can take out the information from that collection or you can add something or you can delete the data efficiently as per the requirement so th the the system which will be provide this all kind of facilities that is nothing but called as a database a database is nothing but a set of any data having some related information between them it is designed to offer an organized mechanism for storing managing and retrieving the stored information it is designed to offer it is uh, it, it is you can say it is it acts like a logical collection of the relevant data so for the today session we have just seen what do you mean by the data information and the database so uh, for the next lecture we are going to just see related with a database management system whatever why uh, what is its need what are the characteristics and what are the advantages of the database management system over our traditional file processing thank you